Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jason Wildfire. I'm here with Strix today. We're going to explore his island, uh, Rope Town, right? That is the name, Rope Town. And it was really weird naming the town. I didn't I didn't realize how big this game was or uh, that people would be coming here and seeing the name all the time or <laughs> any of that. Here are some gifts for you. Uh, it's just some staples. Uh, oh, nice. Hope oh, you thank enjoyed you. Them. Should I open them now or can I wait till like You later? should definitely. We're going to change and be friends. Why okay. Not? Hey, welcome. <laughs> feel like an angel right now. So, uh, I'll follow you. A, a dangerous place. Okay, so this is Rope Town. One of the first things that um, I knew I wanted on my island was an orchard. I was uh, watching streamers, and they all had these really interesting orchards. Um, and then I saw it, I'm like, I could do better. Or at least I could do it in my own way. Uh, here's Becky. Oh, Today okay. was crown day on the island, so everybody got a uh, a crown on the island, Jealous. a royal crown. <laughs> yeah, they're a little spoiled over here. Um, and so here's some shell things that I came up with. Gulliver is also on the island today. I have to ask before we go on, uh, what type of fruit did your island originally grow? So I'm going to go into that, actually. So okay. if you see the... Um, the first few things you saw were like the cherries, the apples, uh, the peaches are back there on the left hand. Uh, another one of the things I really enjoyed about the game was this teddy bear effect. Um, and so I started collecting a lot of them and having friends um, gift them to me. Here's Lucky. He's the newest addition to the island. Um, I had had Ed on the island for a few days. Um, and he just didn't seem like a really good fit. Um, and then randomly, he asked me to leave. And I said, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're running past their houses. Here's Truffle's house. She was the first villager to give me her picture. Um, and so she's always been really, really spoiled. Uh, when villagers come to ask to buy certain things, if she asks me for it, I will give it to her without question. Because like she means a lot to me, even though she's not like a top tier villager um it also happens to be her birthday today oh awesome so we're in here partying um she got a piece of uh, cupcake or a birthday cupcake i'm not sure what they're called uh as a birthday gift for me okay. and then throughout the month i will probably end up making her the leo um sculpture that goes on the wall and gifting that to her randomly like i said she's the best best friend so her picture I already have it but and she's not going to hang it up on the wall i just thought it would be a cute gift to give them their birthday month uh horoscope piece ah okay well and that's biscuit back there he's also a best best friend and then here goes uh rizzo he's a new addition as well um he's not who i want he was who i was given so uh, we deal with him until he asks to leave, but as of now, he gets gifts. He just recently started accepting them, so I gave him uh, a bamboo doll, which he loves. What we're going to do is we're going to take our way back around the front because we missed a couple of villagers. Here goes uh, Cherokee. Cherry, that's a child's name. And then here goes Marina's house. And Marina is a diva. <laughs> she is a diva, but she is also crafting something today. Oh, okay. What's she crafting? A pansy table. Nah. Here is my little, uh, during Pride Month, um, being a member of the community, I wanted to just show my support in a small way, um, okay. but in a pretty way. Um, up here, we can come up here. So I had a vision of playing a piano, or here's a little sitting area, a um, little lucky cat. I had a vision of playing on a piano on top of a hill while the stars went 
with blue roses and lights around me. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is what I came up with. I, I kind of want to rip it out and just change up the way that the water flows up here. Um, because it just looks kind of like thrown in there. For me, in my head, it just looks kind of thrown in. It doesn't look like there's a rhyme or a reason to it. Um, but the white piano was one of my first like real expensive buys. And then the chair I bought off Nook's Odd uh, from someone. And the blue roses were always a staple for me because I knew like everybody wants blue roses. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, for Pride Month, I came up with this little love heart, red rose, two grooms in love situation. Um, yeah. But up here, I used this space for a long time as the grow garden to do hybrids and just to, like, make some money because I like to sell flowers on Nookzon. Um, mm -hmm. I was selling blue roses for a long time. I was selling these green mums for a long time and funny story i uh bought two million or 50 i tried to buy 50 plants or flowers of the uh, green mums and someone came over with 50 plants so i had to figure out how to get rid of all of those <laughs> it was uh, quite the task but it worked out uh, awesome one of the places that I really need some direction right are right here. If you look up uh, right here, you see that there's no fence, just lights. Mm -hmm. um, and I want some type of fencing that would fit here in this space. Um, if you want to come up here with me, there's um, here's my house. Um, this is where. This is another like fixture that I saw from a streamer and said that this would really be a great idea is just to have all of the flowers of the game on your island mm -hmm. in some way and make it look nice. Um, and so this was my interpretation for that. The only flowers I don't have up here are um, blue roses and gold roses. Um, and I plan on expanding uh, this little cliff out in the front just to incorporate those flowers okay. um here's a pond that i had made uh because i had only had one on the island mm -hmm. um, and i was really trying to expand and make more water happen uh for the space uh, it was really green my house originally was up here uh just to get it out of the way um i was like there was a lot of black roses up here because originally I wanted this to be a black rose uh, mountain. Um, and slowly but surely I changed it to this. I might actually have some blue roses. I have to check back at my island, but I have a lot. I just, oh just no, I have, oh no, I have plenty. Um, but this is my campsite. Okay. I'm still working on it. And so I have the DIY table here. Um, of course, some some items from the fishing tourney. Oh no! Leave my oh. plant. Leave those weeds alone, sir. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing for weeds in this area oh, okay. because it makes it look a lot more organic when Sorry it comes to. Oh no 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 no! It's fine. It's completely normal. I have people do it all the time. <laughs> So even if you come up here, there's more, as you can see, more weeds. And it looks like really a campsite. We have a, uh, like a scout's little piece here. And this is one of the spaces that I really started first. When I really came here, I wanted to have like a kickback area for when the stars were happening. And you just wanted to sit back and look at it. Um, I have a lot of the stars and I have a lot of stars saved up based off of like early play and playing every day and going to see Celeste. Um, mm -hmm. So now it'd just be more just to look at them and en enjoy the scenery. Um, so this is my gold blingy area, just to have a little sit down area and a lot of music again, and you'll see a lot of music players. This is another little, like, little area to sit down and then just enjoy. I love the chess pieces. I really wish that we could sit down in a game together and play chess. That would be, I think that would be a really great upgrade for the game. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there are so many things that they have to probably get room on the cartridge, you know, or you know, on the download that a lot of people want. Definitely. I will say one item that I am looking for is a white uh, telephone box. And over here, I just wanted things to be a lot more wild looking. Um, as you can see, Cherry is over here sporting her beautiful crown. Mm -hmm. I have bones set up. I know, again, another cliche thing to have bones set up out on the island, but for some reason, it's something that early on in the game I knew I wanted. And this is the only place on the island that has not been touched by me. This pond. It okay. was the only thing that I have left alone on the whole island because I wanted to have some piece of like original. This was the last thing here. Because um, everything else I've either torn apart. At one point in time, the full island was a, uh, had no water. Mm -hmm. um, I had pushed all the water sources back just to be able to move freely. I do like how you have so many turtles. Coming up these stairs, I crafted this rock garden. Mm -hmm. And I like the rock garden. How long did that take you, though? Um, so five days mannequins, and then the six days for every rock. My friend, she cheated me. She, uh, she time-traveled it the day and my sixth rock was going to drop. The day before, she time traveled and finished hers completely out. She, I was so, I was so upset. <laughs> but yeah, it took me like 11 days. It wasn't okay. bad though. Mannequins everywhere. And, and because a lot of the island has already gotten passed or it has flowers or something on it or the cliff or something, there weren't that many mannequins laying around. Um, but this, oh, let's go back down here. Um, so this is where I really wanted to start like thinking. I wanted to incorporate these power suits, of course, the robot hero, and this Godzilla character. Okay. Onto this piece of island, but or this space. I just don't know what to do with them or where to how to how to place it. No, I um, know if you get a robot hero, I see a lot of people like facing and towards each other. Maybe you can okay. have them at like the entrance or something before you come in. And then have the uh, robot uh, the heroes in the back. Okay, I like. Oh, okay, I like that idea. I okay, I can work with that. All right. Here's you another. Do you, those, do you do have what? the? Uh, I was gonna say you do have this uh, big uh, skeleton and four in front, so maybe incorporate that too. It is close yeah. to. All right. Okay. Here's um another piece up here. So I. So there's a, a, a light fixture, I'm not sure of the name of it, in LA, where it had all those, it has a whole bunch of like green, I believe they're either, no, they're white. I was going to line these white poles that are down here, mm -hmm. up here in some fashion, but then I also wanted to incorporate all of this, okay. which I don't have an idea of how to do. The living room is looks like this because I used this space um, for the feng shui, for the extra bonus points that the game provides. Um, mm -hmm. If you have yellow on the left side, green down the uh, front, and red on the right side, you get extra points. But there are other items that give you lucky points, like the katana sword, um, the gold bug um, trophy, the golden wreath. Um, the, the koi fish, they give you, that gives you extra points as well. Um, having one of the villagers' pictures on your house. I um, mean, as you can see, I've lined up all of my best, best friends on the, the back wall. Mm -hmm. One of the first rooms that I worked on in the house was... Oh, take that back. Wrong. Ah, it's over here. No, 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 no. Take that back. No, no, no. Over here. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. That's not right. Right. All right. Oh, okay. 
So when coming into this room, I wanted it to be a very bathroom, obviously. Um, I wanted to zhuzh it up a little bit with having some artwork, of course, having a gold toilet, having this screen, which I didn't expect to be as expensive as it was. But yeah, it they're like fourteen, <laughs> hundred Yeah, I was gonna say they're one hundred forty grand. Um, and then having the embroidered um, kimono, which is another two hundred and twenty grand. They're crazy for those. Yeah. Um, I really love this space. It's really tranquil. Um, if you, you know, if you turn off the light, you can get really kind of romantic and cute, especially with having the cherry blossoms and everything. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is this area. Okay. Do you have any suggestions for that? Um. I want to I put mean, something I- on this wall over the tub and speaker, but I don't know what. This is my probably favorite room, or second favorite room in the house. Um, I put a lot of work into this place, just finding little knickknacks to go everywhere. There are some symmetry where I wanted the 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 wall where the sink is mm-hmm. to be very homey, and then the opposite wall feel very busy and very extra. Um, the flooring really did inspire me with the uh, wasp head models. Um, and so, of course, it only made sense to have a whole bunch of those in there. Um, a lot of the mom stuff in here just made me happy. Another one of those lucky items that you'll know is the gold fishing um, trophy in the house. I see. Yep. Yep. All right. And then I saw this idea on Facebook, of course, where this guy had made like a faux area or like a, a secret oh, okay. passage. I was going to say, I don't see your back room. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to put that on my island. I wanted that moment because it, it looked really nice. And so this is my den area. And I use this space as a way to have all of the fake art. Um, my friend Kay and I, early in the game, uh, once we met each other through Facebook, uh, were running art and I needed her to find all the fake art that we could. And so some of this was gifted from her and us going to people's islands. And there's some of this is from, you know, the community. Mm-hmm. Um, and I see you actually have a, a lucky cat, a golden one. I do have another lucky gold cat. Um, yeah, it's been a, quite a trip just getting all of these items and putting them in, in, in the bonsai tree to all of the rare stuff. Like, it's been a trip. The gold um, trophy on the table is another one of those lucky items that you want to be able to have in the house. Mm-hmm. So is the gold cat. Um, that is hilarious. Uh, okay. So, so the right floor here, is lava. Yeah, there are miss. It's missing the. I ended up selling randomly these pinball machines, but never bought them again. So they're missing those. I don't know really what to do with the space. It really does look better when it's dark mm-hmm. I do want to make sure that I keep it as an arcade but I'd want these I want these gone over here because I don't think that they fit the space anymore especially with the lava on the walls it looks mm-hmm. weird now have you thought about maybe making it a, a TV studio because I actually have team TV cameras you have lava kind of gives an action feel I feel that wouldn't be a bad idea. I have some TV cameras as well. Um, I had some other ideas uh, with the name being Rope Town and everything. I was mm-hmm. going to turn this more into a like, uh, have some gel bars down here, uh, maybe a dungeony kind of looking space with a camera and some a cute bed. Um, okay. That's something I'm still working on and realizing. 
And then upstairs, so my idea upstairs is just, I have all of K.K. Slider's music. And what I wanted to do was I was going to take, I, w I think I want the white wall. I don't know if it, this dotted wall works, but I was going to put this all, all of his albums in alphabetical order on the walls. Oh, okay. I was going to move the bed over into that space over and then turn part of this into like a private recording studio for KK Slider. Okay. Another, a uh, couple more of those um, lucky items. The crescent chair and the ring. Having them on the house gives you extra points. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this is what I was, this is, this is the room that I'm probably going to have the most work get cut out for me. I snatched down in the basement. We had all of the music there, mm -hmm. um, or I had all the music there. Um, and then I snatched it off the walls because it didn't make, it was too busy with the lava and the music. It was just a lot going on. Hey guys, we're back. So this is Rope Town. If you have any suggestions, just put them in the comments, uh, either specifically on this video. That way he can see it. And then if you want to make donations, we can arrange it. Just let me know. Or if he wants to give me any type of Twitter or something, we'll put it in the description later. Uh, but uh, unless you have anything else, I think we'll call this one a day. Yeah, that was great. Thank you for uh, having me. Okay, later, guys. <laughs>